Hello, this is Neuron, and welcome to my video supplement for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. I had some misgivings about this title when it was announced, so were any of those fears founded? To start, the game is based on the Nickelodeon license, so the story puts you in a world where the Krang run TCRI and are in a turf war with Shredder's Foot Clan. Naturally, the turtles are caught in the middle. What's that? They don't look like the cartoon show? Red Fly Studios were given carte blanche to create an art style that would appeal to older Turtles fans. I was thrown off a bit at first myself, but realized over time that they were going for what I call a Henson effect. In other words, putting the Nickelodeon show through a Jim Henson creature shop type filter harkening toward the original movie. That's not the only thing that's from the original movie either. That's Partners in Crime's Turtle Power. And the turtles are standing in the pose from the original comic book, by the way, as well. It's not just the title screen, either. The game has turtles cracking wise and making jokes throughout the game. Now that's a knife. You know, you boys shouldn't play with sharp things. And definitely don't run with them. Boy, have I learned that lesson. <laughs> If I swap masks with you, would anyone notice that suddenly I wasn't me? What do you mean? I mean, how much of our identity is that we can project? What, you wanna try it? Maybe tomorrow. One less loser off the streets. We don't say loser. They are young men who've made some very unfortunate career choices. Yes. As well as some self-referential jokes. That tortoise in the hair store. Why is that, Donnie? I mean, it's a land race. It's not fair. Just put that rabbit in the water and see who's gonna get to the finish line first. The bigger they are, save it. They could have a secret foot soldier underground city. They could have foot soldier malls and and foot soldier boutiques, a foot soldier movie theater, foot soldier kiosks selling foot soldier cell phone covers. Come on back, Mikey. Ninjas gotta eat. Yeah, but does this seem wise to just eat a pizza you find some random place? Unfortunately, while I think they understood the feel they wanted to go for a Turtles game, they dropped the ball on the mechanics end. There's an inventory system. Leveling systems. A very technical combo and counter system along with stealth combat hacking mini games and AI control turtles that you can freely switch between in the middle of a fight these are just a few of the systems that they implemented here The game tries to do all these things, but only manages to nail a few of them. With counters. And the turtle AI probably being the most frustrating among them. These problems are abated somewhat by being able to play the story mode co-op. And even more rewarding is grabbing some friends for arcade mode. Sadly, you will have to complete the entire story mode in order to unlock all the stages for arcade mode, which means one player is going to be far better at this game than all the others. Overall, it's clear to me that Red Fly's heart was in the right place in making this game, but the game simply isn't all that it could have been. With some more time and polish, maybe a bigger budget, 
to iron out some of the flaws, I think this could have been the best Turtles game in a long time. All that being said, Turtles fans would be remiss to pass this one up. Cowabunga! Uh, I mean, Booyakasha! 